Peace, peace, peace. How you doing, family? Hope everyone's okay. My name, I call myself Enobi. That's I-I-N-O-B-E. My government name is David McNeil. I have, uh, I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, so I got some Cleveland family out there. Um, I've spent some time in Chicago, so I got some Chicago family out there. Peace to Chicago. And uh, I got some Harlem family out there too. I spent some time in New York, so I want to say peace to all my family out there throughout. This is actually the first time I've ever been on camera, social media, anything, so it's kind of a first for me. But um, yeah, just a little background on me. Um, you know, I've lived in those particular places. You know, it's been pretty interesting um, in life. Um, you know, uh, kind of similar to, to what the sister said, Yakisha. Um, you know, my life has been, been filled with racism. Um, it's been interesting being on both sides. You know, um, when I was in, in, in elementary school, I heard the word nigger every other day. From teachers to other students, parents, um, you know, similar to Bumani, you know, when I went to school, you know, I was always the only black in the type of things that I was into. Um, you know, I got into web development pretty early in the, in the early of the mid 90s. And, you know, at that time there was no internet, no browsers, and there was just this thing called the internet. And I remember taking classes and I was the only black in there. Um, but let me move forward and just talk about this trip. Um, it, you know, for me, the reason why I came on the trip was, um, and I know some of y'all out there can kind of, uh, you know, feel this right here. I think it was right after that Trump election, if you want to call it that. Um, I don't know what day it was, but whatever that day was, I went to sleep. And then I woke up and I looked on that TV and I seen all that blue or all that red, whatever the color is. And I said to myself, I can't believe it. I can't believe this 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 actually went down. This guy is, is actually about to do what he's going to do. So that actually triggered something to me. And I said, you know what? I got to get up out of this country. I start flipping out, going crazy and crazy. And, and you know, that kind of led me to uh, some online information. And I started looking into Costa Rica because I heard about Costa Rica being pretty, you know, uh, inexpensive to live. Um, you know, so I started looking into that. I had to get out this country. It's crazy, President Trump. And then all these things kind of led me to uh, Bumani's video. And uh, similar to uh, what the sister said to Keisha, I did crazy due diligence. I watched every single video. I'm, again, I'm looking for the flaws, but um, no need to go over that again. But just, you know, bottom line, the brother was consistent. He was consistent in what he was saying, what he was doing. Um, again, you know, I didn't see any negative comments or anything like that. So, um, you know, I decided to reach out to him. And again, um, if you're interested, the brother is, 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 is more than open to speak to you. As a matter of fact, I called him at 3.30, he called me back at 3.40. <laughs> so I was like, wow, this dude right here, um, you know, and we had a nice little conversation and, and you know, I, I, I saw every, I felt from him what I felt from the videos. So, um, so that was a good thing. Um, let me tell y'all about this trip so far. It's only been about four or five days. And I'm beyond words. Uh, I, I don't have any words to describe, um, you know, my experience so far. I can use a few adjectives. Um, it's, it's just been, it's been overwhelmingly beautiful. Um, it, 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 the weather is, is, is extremely nice. Uh, the food, 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 the food is great. And let me say something about the food to the family out there. Ever since I've been in Ghana for three days, I've had no mucus. Yes. There's been no no coughing. Uh, it, it, I, I had some minor pains, some weird stuff going on with me. <laughs> After the second day, I felt none of them. Um, and you just have to understand the food out here is real, and the food that we're eating in the states is not real. And you, that's one of the first things you'll notice when you take this journey: is the food is the real deal. It's healing food. So um, again, the journey has been fantastic. Um, uh, beautiful people. Um, if you have any reservations, I don't think that you should. You know, I would do the same thing. You know, continue to look at the videos, reach out to the brother, and um, you know, if you can make this trip, it's been very, very, very beautiful. Yes. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful.